I, I just want to bring up your uh, Johann Svedop oil field. You know, this is the largest North Sea discovery in decades. Yeah. And I believe the peak production is 660,000 barrels a day. I mean, are, are there any sort of projects of similar ambition and size that Statoil is doing, say, like a wind farm? You know, there's, it seems there's a there's far more investment going into the fossil fuels than the renewables. Yeah, so I think a lot of people actually see us within the oil and gas and energy business as uh, having a climate leadership position. But still, we would like to improve. And uh, last week, I believe we presented a platform that is actually going to be seen as a big step forward. So what we did that is we announced that we're going to reduce our emissions very significantly, 3 million tons. That's like removing 1.5 million cars of the road. And then we're going to invest in renewables, really stepping it up. So quadrupling our investments to potentially reach 2 billion US dollar a year. That's not that a lot would, of money for you guys though, yeah. is it? Well, it's going to promote electricity to 5 million households. That's, I don't think that's that many other companies are investing at this scale into renewables. And then thirdly, and I think actually that's the most important, we're changing the way we run our company. We don't see ourselves only as an oil and gas company, we see ourselves as an energy company, and making sure that the climate and the Paris Accord is embedded into our strategy, our vision, our technical requirements, or key performance indicators. Having as close an eye on climate and emissions as we do on costs, and investments and break-evens. But is this, are you doing this because it makes business sense or are you doing it because you're such nice guys? It's good that you think we're nice guys, but we believe this will make us even fitter for the future.